I'm Fraser Christian from Coastal Survival, down on the beach in the middle of winter on a lovely, crisp, clear, beautiful day. It's lovely and warm. I've just finished a video on collecting plants up in the woodland and I really want to demonstrate why hunter-gatherers lived, thrived and migrated along the coast, especially in winter. Where it's packed with wild food down there. I'm going to show you some food today where we're going to focus on plants that really are considered by Michelin and very highly rated chefs as gourmet wild vegetables. So this plant, definitely one of the gourmet wild vegetables. Hopefully you can see what it is straight away. It's not a daffodil. Um, this is what I thought they were when I first walked past them until I actually sat down. I found this plant by accident because I sat on it and it, once it's crushed, it's really obviously part of the allium or the onion family. And this is a wild leek, a coastal leek. Okay, this is growing up on the shingle again. They will grow on the sides of the banks. They're quite rare to find. This is one of those ones you really need to get out, keep your eyes open, and you can see just that growing in amongst the grass, which they do. They're growing all up behind me here. It's really hard to spot, but where the shingle's blown up after the storm last year, it's really blanched these, which is where it forces the vegetable up at the ground, and you can see straight away the white on there, the beautiful white flesh. And to get these out, you need to get your hands as far down as you can and then just pull really carefully. And what happens is you'll snap it off and you'll leave a bulb. There's a slight bulb shape at the bottom there. I'm not gonna dig the whole plant up. And that will regenerate and regrow. This is an amazing vegetable. I'll just peel that off there. So I can show you how beautiful that is. So this is the same sort of size as you get a baby leek at the moment in one of the gourmet uh, restaurants beautiful vegetable really juicy it's got loads of liquid in there okay doesn't need hardly anything doing to it to cook it you can just braise this a little bit of olive oil a little bit of white wine literally just char grill it as it is it's an amazing rich almost garlic flavor to this plant this is the wild coastal leek as i just said um, all of it can be used all of the greens put these into stocks and soups there's only two grown just here but i'm literally just out of shot there's hundreds and hundreds of them it's a really great community so what i will do is definitely leave this one here to regenerate and i'll just take this one i'll just cover that back up now i'm going to see what else is growing 